the Eco Map Lab Frank Kirschen. Hello, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Frank Kirschen from Lab Society, and this is uh, Daniel Kaplan from Thing. We together today hosted the Eco Map Lab. And eco mapping is all about sensor data. You see it coming here, a network, a worldwide network of sensors that will uh, give you information on the climate or on environmental data of any kind whatsoever. And it helps the people, um, uh, us, it helps us to make better <laughs> choices as to which behavior we should choose to, to help a more sustainable future come into being. Um, it's a long sentence, we've talked long about it. This morning we had a session with six speakers, some of them from the main program. We we're talking on visualization, on data, on sensors, also on aggregating, but most important on how to influence the behavior of people, or other ways, how to make communities feel really responsible for their own future and ours, and by that, uh, getting an interest, a keen interest, in knowing what the environment, the climate, environmental data is all about. We've seen some examples, and today we talked about the next steps in that, and I will give the floor to Danielle. Thank you. Uh, so again, we had great speakers uh, and with, with concrete experience of distributing distributed urban sensing and, and mapping around environmental issues. And so what we wanted to do uh, in the morning and, and more even in the afternoon by getting a great bunch of people into working on scenarios was to look for the devil in the details there. Of course, distributed things are great and they are good with, with a capital G, but how actually do you do that? And what do you distribute? What kinds of data? Who produced them? Who has an interest, a stake in distributing them or in using them? What's the business model for, for that? How, how does that happen over the years? Uh, and what does it produce? Or what does it create or improve? And we, we gather around a number of, of words, awareness, knowledge, decision making, value creation, implication, even businesses. And to go beyond those principles, we asked participants to actually produce scenarios. We had five scenarios produced, really amazing ones, some really low tech, deliberately low tech, some a little more high tech, more into the social or the sensing part. So, uh, Frank will describe reputation ma mapping in a few seconds. Yeah, one of the things is that uh, when you start noting what your behavior is and how it influences the climate, it very easily becomes a privacy issue. So, how uh, don't we uh, grab you, for example, because you did something wrong or you did something well. And we could grapple with that by going not into the person, but into the communities that you work for. And communities was a word that was very often spoken about today. Uh, it would mean that you could have, for example, one neighborhood against another neighborhood, or you could compare one neighborhood and another neighborhood, and even have some financial order consequences based on the sustainable performance of this neighborhood. And you could have games and other ways of engagement. And the second scenario is called Waste Book, and we've registered the name already. Uh, it, it's a platform. Imagine that uh, you, you're about to dispose of some product and you just scan it and somebody tells you, but wait, uh, there's a neighbor who's in need of parts of that product, or there's a company who, like, who will recycle it, or these data are interesting because we want to aggregate them in order to figure out whether this industry uh, manages its life cycle. So we have imagined in this scenario a business model for a company that would be a marketplace for disposal information and, and disposable products. And lastly, uh, we had a lot of wonderful people together and all of them were really in these fields. And we thought about uh, how to scale up all the different experiment, experiments into something really big and really powerful that will uh, have some impact on this field of sustainability. And we will come up with a, a European-wide eco-mapping application Based what? There will be a database with all kind of data. There will be sensors, and we will all wear them. Uh, and then there will also be different visualizations. And because it's a platform, you can write services for that too. We want all people to be able to build their own services, to engage communities, so they can uh, they can foster their own goals with this data set. Uh, and then uh, well, we hope to see this happen somewhere next year. So I hope you'll be here with us. <laughs>